Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So today guys is going to be um, a little bit different, not one of my um, cars or, or, or projects. It's going to be two vehicles coming in today for some work. Uh, one is an Audi A1 2019 Reg uh, and the other one is an Audi Q3, I think. Um, Again, I think that's 2019 plate as well. Both coming in for some uh, brake um, pads all round, both of them. So we'll be getting into that. Um, we'll take Nigel's car outside, which is looking unbelievable, that car. It, it, every time I look at it, I think, Christ, that is a stunning car. It is definitely, definitely looking good now. Um, but yeah, we'll continue with that tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to book an MOT for that as well in the tomorrow afternoon. So, yeah, by the end of tomorrow, which will be Friday, this should be done, ready, complete. And then I can drive it about at the weekend and, um, yeah, just uh, see how she goes. But, uh, yeah, what a lovely, lovely car that is. Um, so, let me just show you what I found at the auction before because I found this car... Uh, at the auction, I want to show you a picture of it. Let me just, um, yeah, I mean, let me just sh shuffle you about, um, and I'll show you. Bear with me. So yeah, guys, let me show you this car that is coming up at the auction today. Look at that beast. So that is an Arbath five nine five Compiente, I think it is. Um, that's how you say it. <laughs> um, so someone. Someone has spent a lot of money on this car. Um, you can see, obviously, the, 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 the wheel arch extensions on the sides here. And at the back there, you've got this little... It's like a little towel, wind towel thing. You've got a massive spoiler at the back that's connected to the original one. This is an actual convertible. Um, and, uh, yeah, you've got this. Obviously, this is where the damage is here. Uh, the wing as well has been damaged as well. Um, and there's some damage on the other side. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that because I come across it and I've not, you know, seen um, on our bath go for the auction this Larry Boy Racer E. Do you know what I mean? Someone has spent a lot of money on this car. Um, this is actually a 2016 plate and it's done, I think it's done 66,000 miles. Um, so, yeah, but... Uh, it's a shame, really, because I've just actually bought two new projects. One I'm picking up today, and then one I've got to pick up uh, on Monday, I think. I'll try and get it tomorrow, but I don't think I'll have time. I'm doing Nigel's car tomorrow and the MOT, so I won't be able to pick up the, the second one. But if I didn't have those two, I probably would have gone for this. Now, at the minute, it, it's, 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 the auction is, is today. And at the minute, I think it's like 1,600 quid. Um, it's the highest bid, proxy, proxy bid. And, um, you know, it, I'll let you know what it actually goes for. I'm not going to do a live, um, I won't show you the live auction. But I will let you know what it actually sells for. But um, I think it's going to probably sell for about three and a half, maybe. Three and a half grand, I reckon it's going to sell for. Um but I'll let you know what the price goes for. But yeah, what a mad looking car. Absolutely <laughs> mental. The inside is really nice. Alcantara, bucket seats. Um, and uh, yeah, these wheels as well. I don't know if I can show you these wheels. Someone's painted the wheels um, white and then it, they've put yellow uh, strips going around the outside of the, of the actual tire and they've painted the calipers um, yellow as well. So... Yeah, what a mad Larry car. <laughs> right, let's get Nigel's car out of the way. Um, and then we can bring in the, I think we're going to bring in the A1 first, the Audi A1. I'll show you what we're dealing with. Um, and then let's get cracking and let's do this. Right, okay guys. So, this is an Audi A1. Um, that's actually a private plate and it's actually a 2019, uh, plate car, 
but it looks really, really nice. So basically, um, the reason why we're, what we're doing today is because of the brake pads are low, back and front. So we're going to do back and front today. Um, on this, I've just noticed a dent he's got here. Look at a dent, yeah. I don't know if he knows about that. Um, but uh, yeah, what a lovely car. Really, really nice car. I don't think it's like an ST line or anything like that. Because normally with the ST lines, they come on here, on the wings. But I don't think it is. I don't know what it is, because it's been debadged. <laughs> so I can't, I don't know what it is. I'll, pro I'll ask him when, when, he, when he drops it off. But even the light, the headlights are like little inserts here. Not headlights, the rear tail lights. They're like these little inserts here. They're not just flat. It's, it's really like, I don't know, it's like, it's like a fighter jet stealthy sort of design. Um, have a look at the inside as well. Look at this. <clears throat> what a lovely car, honestly. Automatic. Um, I'll show you what I mean, boy. When it, come, when it comes to like, the, the actual like fighter jet stealthy thing. Look at this like top part of the dash here. It's just like really, really nice. Really, really nice. I'm liking it. Even like these panels here. I come across, got these like. Yeah, look at these like shapes. Really, really weird, but I do like it, guys. So, like I said, it's an automatic. Um, yeah, all complete digital. It's a really nice car. Really, really nice car. So yeah, we are um, we are doing the brake pads for him today. He actually took this to Audi, um, and they wanted six hundred pound just to do the brake pads back and front. That's it, six hundred pound. Um, and I said, no, 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 bring it to me. I'll do it for hundred ninety quid, including parts and labour. So yeah, which I thought was a you know a great deal for him, and it gives me a. a Gives me a little bit of a uh, little bit of work from it as well. Breaks up the difference for doing salvage and stuff. So let's uh, yeah, let's turn that off for the moment. Um, let's leave the keys. Let's leave the keys on the seat there, and um, start work on these pads. We'll do we'll do the front first. Those lovely LEDs as well. Really nice LED lights that come across. So I mean about these these shapes that seem to be all over the car. But yeah, right. <laughs> so, I just like I just like looking around these kind of cars, like new cars and different way that they, 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 the actual manufacturers and designers of uh, are, are making these cars and making them look really really nice. Right, anyway, let's crack on with the front, guys, on this. Um, I'll set you up on the tripod. Let's get cracking, get these wheels off, start stripping these brakes. Let's do this.
Well, guys, that has not started the way I thought it was going to start today. Basically, can't find the locking wheel nut key for the alloys wheels. Cannot find that key anywhere. Spoke to the owner. I said, uh, you don't know where the, the key is, do you, for the, for the locking wheel nuts? Um, and he said, no, it's definitely in the car. It's definitely in the car. It's definitely in the car. Can't be anywhere else. I said, mate, I said, I've gone through the whole car. It's definitely not in here. Gone all over the boot, all inside, you know. It's just not here. So he seems to think it is. He's on his way down here. He's coming back to the car. Um, and hopefully we can find it because without it, we are buggered. It needs to be done. I said to him, have you any, have you, have you any work done to it? Have you changed any tyres? He said, nope. Um, it's all the original tyres from new. Um, nothing's been done to it. Nothing's been changed. And this is, this is, the, this is the first time it's had any sort of um, repair work to it. Sort of, you know, uh, wear and tear work, brake, disc, pads, tyres, whatever. It's the first time that someone's uh, tried to work on it. So whether or not, I don't know what's happened here. Um, whether or not they, he took it to Audi and Audi took the wheels off to inspect the brakes and they have not put the uh, key back into place. Just noticed a crack actually. It's got a crack going down the screen here. See that crack going there, look. But yeah, he's on his way over here anyway. Um, and hopefully we can find this key. I'll come back to you if we can. If we can find it, then yeah, you'll know. I'm going to set you back on a tripod and we're going to get cracking and get these wheels off. But if we can't find it, it looks like this could be a bust today until he finds the key. So yeah, uh, bear with me and I'll let you know what's going on. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, guys, all fun and games. Let me give you an update and let you know what is going on. So the owner turned up and said, you sure you sure you've looked everywhere? I said, yeah, I looked everywhere. He said, um, let me just have a look at the glove box. I said, no, 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 I've looked at the glove box, took it all out. He said, yeah, but did you look in that little cubby, that little hole there? And this was sitting in there. And I didn't even see that little thing up there. Well, I wouldn't. I'd just look at the glove box and think, that. No, I'd never know there's a little compartment here. You don't, you don't know. Until, unless you own the car and you know that it's there, you'd never know that it's there. Anyway, we've got the key. We can now crack on with these pads. So let me take the car back. I'll set you up on the tripod again. Let's get these wheels off. Let's get cracking with this Audi A1. Let's do this, guys. Right, okay, so that is the front pads all changed over. A um, little bit of copper grease on the slidey bits there. Top and bottom. So yeah, all nice and new. Actually, there wasn't, they weren't that low. You know, there, there is a still a little bit of wear on them. Like you can see that there, there's quite a lot on that one. About the same. But, yeah, it was definitely making a difference because these are original discs and pads. It's got a bit of a lip on the disc now. 
So something's going on. Right, let's put the wheels back on, guys. I'm going to turn it around so that the back end is here. It's just a lot easier when I turn them around. So let me do that, and then I'll come back to you, set you up. Let's get cracking with the rears, get them done, um, and then, yeah, this one's done. <laughs> let's do this. Right, okay, guys, there we go. Nice new brake pads on the rear now as well. Um, had to use the wind-out tool or wind-in tool for this rear ones. But, uh, yeah, all good. Discs are a little bit... They're really weird, these discs. They've like, got, like scoring going across them maybe this will be an advisory on an mot i've got to only assume it will um they might need changing don't know what's happened there but yeah this one is all done brake pads are finished right i'll get the uh get the car outside give the owner a call he can come and collect it and then we'll get the next one in which i think is the q3 um and it's actually the guy's wife's car <laughs> so yeah um just uh getting the brake pads done on both cars today so let's crack on let's do this so guys there we go this is the next one so the old a1 has now swapped for this one which is his wife's car uh 2018 and it's actually the audi q2 not the Q3, I thought it was. So yeah, Audi Q2. Uh, TFSI petrol, 35, not sure what that means, 35, gotta be honest. But um, yeah, lovely little car. Hasn't got the lever in this one. It's just got the cloth. Just a lower spec car, I suppose. But yeah, it's got the, um, the normal... Uh, dials that the uh, older um, Audis have so yeah but still a nice car um, and it's auto um, so yeah same thing guys brake pads brake pads on the back brake pads on the front uh, we'll do the fronts first take the car back take it up I'll set it up from the tripod uh, with the fronts it's normal standard procedure with the backs we have to plug in the um, the Autel a computer to um let it know that we're doing a service part on the brake pads and it and it uh electric like it, it automatically sort of pulls the actual um calipers in with the computer so we'll do that uh after the front but let's just move it over here let's get the front end done first um oh, do you know what i didn't ask about the bloody <laughs> i didn't i forgot all about it she was so quick. She was like, oh, thanks very much. There's a key to that one. Um, uh, see you later, bye. <laughs> Hopefully. The uh, locking wheel knock. Oh, God. I think we're going to have the same thing. I wonder if it's inside. I wonder if it's going to be in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Found it. Whew, that was quick. That was a lot quicker than the other one. <laughs> so, yeah, wicked. At least we got that. Right, we can crack on. Let's move it back, get it up on the ramp, um, and I'll set you up on the tripod. Let's get these front wheels off. And let's start doing it. 
let's do this. Right, okay, guys, just want to quickly cut in there, just explain um, what I found, basically. So, on this one, the other one, the A1, absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. But on this one, when I was um, uh, using the um, wind back tool to wind back the, um, the piston on the caliper, um, I noticed like some dripping going on down there, and I was thinking, what is going on here? So... I didn't think nothing of it. Come over to this side, starting on this side, and as I'm winding it back, um, as I'm pulling it back with the screwdriver first, um, noticed that it was getting worse. I was thinking, hold on a minute, what's going on with the reservoir? So I come up to the reservoir, and as you can see, it's like full up to the top. So what's happened is, um, so instead of checking the brake pads need changing, someone has just topped this up um, and checked the level and thought, yeah, that needs topping up, just topped it up. But what they've done is they've made the, the actual system, the braking fluid, too much, yeah? Because obviously once the caliper, once it squeezes close like that, it's pulling the um, brake... Uh, <laughs> it's pulling the brake fluid down into the system, which should, that should do, it should do that, and it makes the bottle go down, yeah? But what someone's done, topped it up, thinking it's low, and then just topped it up, made it, made it, now it's making it too full. So now I'm pulling the caliper, I'm putting the caliper, um, I'm putting the piston back into um, the, uh, the tightest position. It's pushing all the brake fluid out of the bottle, um, now being too much. Um, so, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Anyway, it's not the end of the world, well, guys. You've got to crack on and keep going. So, But I just wanted to quickly explain, you know, if you ever, if, you, if, you're, if your brake bo uh, fluid bottle ever gets, gets, goes really low, it not necessarily means that you've lost your brake um, fluid. It means that, <coughs> sorry, guys, <coughs> your brake pads are getting low so yeah just wanted to share that with you <coughs> let me set you back up let's get cracking let's continue let's do this Right, okay, so that is the front brake pads done um, on this one, guys. We're going to swap it around now. Going to turn the car around so we can do the rear, which is going to be a little bit more tricky, the rear ones. I'm not sure yet, but we'll get into that um, in a minute. The actual, yeah, it, that, that actual reservoir brake fluid was going down a little bit, but it still was pushing over and then going down. It's really weird, that. Anyway, I'll show you the brake pad. This was... 
this one here, the sensor, look how close it was to that, look. Nearly going through the wire. Nearly going through the wire. Very, very lucky. I'm surprised actually that it hasn't come up on the computer, on the dash. But um, I didn't see anything like that. I'll check it though, just to make sure. Right, let's spin it round. Let's crack on with the rear ones and uh, get the computer plugged in because we need to um, put it in a service mode. So let's do it. Right, okay guys, just wanna quickly show you um, how you put the brakes into a service mode to replace the pads. Basically, got the computer, it's all plugged in with the OBD, um, and the ignition is on. Let me just put that down like that. So what you do with this Ortel uh, Maxicom MK808TS is, you go to services and then I'm trying to hold it, sorry. Let me just put it there for the mic. Let me just put it there for the mic. That's better. Right. So you go to services um, and then you go to EPD, electronic parking brake, there. Scan the car, auto detect the car, and it will find it. like that so you've got parking brake and brakes so we want to go to brakes because we're doing the pads and it says there look replace brake pads okay press that so there you go look warning facing the little bit brake yep okay so please re release the brake parking brake so we go back into the car um, which is here. Like that. Did I release it or put it on? No, I put it on. Hmm. Okay, so now it's off. Right, so the parking brake is now off. Press OK. So you can hear that winding it back. So it's releasing it to service position, look. So there we go, look. Turn, turn off ignition. OK. Done that. Replace the brake pads and finish installation, turn off the little block. Right, cool. So that's it. Now, exit in the service position. It should come up and tell you, say whether or not. I'm sure it comes up and says press F1, F2 to do it. Hmm. Please apply the handbrake. Um. What now? Or oh, brake pads first? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Let me do the brake pads. Um. Take it all apart. Then it's allowing me to wind it back now with the wind back tool, both sides. So let's crack on. Um, we'll start doing that and then I'll come back to you once we've done that, guys. I'll set you up. Let's do this.
Right, okay. So, guys, we are done, complete. Um, I had to do the program when it comes to the computer and uh, just reset the uh, service function off of the actual computer. But once you've done that, it just sort of pulls it together on the back and it's sort of, yeah, it's all done. So there we go. Another one done. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take the car outside and the owner is going to be picking it up in the next sort of 15, 20 minutes. And then I've got to shoot off with the trailer, <laughs> pick up another project for us guys. I'm going to show, I'm not going to show it yet. I will show it in, uh, I'll do a video on Saturday, Saturday morning, and I'll show the new project there. If you do follow me on Instagram, you will see a little sneak peek of what we've got um, coming up. But um, yeah, I'll show you that Saturday morning. Whew. Right. Another busy day, but um, yeah, I've run out of time. That is it. That is going to be the end of today's video. Just showing you what I'm doing during the day. Um, and then now I've got to go and pick up another project. <laughs> so my day is definitely not ending, but today's video is. So guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me doing what I'm doing on a course of a day. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks very much.